welcome dear students in this lecture we are going to see another mutagen that is intercalating agents up till now we have discussed physical mutagens in that we have seen the uv and x rays after that we have discussed about the base analog in that we have shown the example of fibromyuracil and amino purine afterwards we have discussed about some chemicals like nitrous oxide as a mutagen now in this lecture we will see about the intercalating agents okay so what are this intercalating agents these are the flat molecules which contain several polycyclic rings that interact with the normal bases in the dna through hydrogen bonds and base stacking so meaning of intercalate if we'll just talk about the intercalate then meaning of intercalate means to insert okay intercalate means insert so this intercalating agents these are flat in structure and they consist of different polycyclic rings okay so you can see here four polycyclic rings are there here three polycyclic ring is there here also three polycyclic ring is there so in the structure they appear flat and they consist of several or many polycyclic rings and what this rings does they interact with the normal bases whatever our normal bases are there adenine guanine cytosine thymine so this intercalating agent they interact with this normal bases in the dna through the hydrogen bonding okay so what actually this intercalating agent do they insert between the bases in the dna okay they insert between the normal bases in the dna and disturb the replication transcription translation process so that is the function of intercalating agent they act as a mutagen how they act as a mutagen by inserting itself into the normal bases by inserting itself between the normal bases in dna and once this intercalating agents inserts in the normal base it disturbs replication process and when replication is disturbed it ultimately disturbs the transcription and translation process now what are the examples of intercalating agent examples of this agents are proflavin acridine orange this is the strain ethidium bromide and dioxin these are the different example which are used as a intercalating agents okay so this intercalating agent they produce the mutation okay they produce the mutation it results into mutation by inserting itself between the base pairs ghus jate hai wo okay base pairs ke bich mein ghus jate hai aur inka structure polycyclic rings hai bahut sare polycyclic rings hai so it creates somewhere disturbance between the normal bases okay they intercalate they inserts themselves between the adjacent bases in the dna they disturb the 3d structure of the helix we know that uh, dna is the double helical structure it is a 3d structure okay so when this intercalating agent insert themselves in the dna they disturb the 3d structure of the helix okay so there is disturbance in the 3d structure of dna and ultimately it cause single nucleotide insertion and deletion in replication to ek bar ye intercalating agent andar ghus jate hain it disturb the helix okay how it disturb the helix either it may add some nucleotide or it may remove some nucleotide okay there there may be addition or there may be deletion okay so intercalating agent agar khud se ghus gaye 
तो डेफिनेटली इट्स गोइंग टू डिस्टर्ब द हेलिकल स्ट्रक्चर एंड दिस डिलीशन एंड इंसर्शन इट प्रोड्यूस द फ्रेम शिफ्ट टाइप ऑफ म्यूटेशन एंड वॉट इज फ्रेम शिफ्ट म्यूटेशन दैट ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियोज ओके इन द फ्रेम शिफ्ट म्यूटेशन आई दर देर इज इंसर्शन ऑफ वन न्यूक्लियोटाइड ओके और डिलीशन ऑफ द वन न्यूक्लियोटाइड ओके एंड देन फ्रेम इज बीन चेंज्ड तो सो दैट इज द फ्रेम शिफ्ट म्यूटेशन सो दिस इंटरकैलेटिंग एजेंट वेन दे इंसर्ट इन सेल्फ इन टू द डी एन ए इट मे रिजल्ट इन टू द फ्रेम शिफ्ट म्यूटेशन नाउ इन योर सिलेबस टू एग्जाम्पल्स आर गिवन ऑफ दिस इंटरकैलेटिंग एजेंट वन इज इथिडियम ब्रोमाइड एंड सेकेंड इज एक्रिडाइन ऑरेंज द फंक्शन ऑफ दिस एजेंट इज सेम they will insert itself into the dna strand and will disturb the helix either it may add the nucleotide or it may delete the nucleotide which ultimately will disturb the helix and it may disturb the further processes plus it may result into the frame shift type of mutation getting my point so that is all about the overview of this intercalating agent now what this ethidium bromide does this ethidium bromide first of all it is a dna stain okay it is a dna stain and it is commonly used to stain dna in gel electrophoresis experiment ye dna ko color karne ke liye use kiya jata hai stain karne ke liye use kiya jata hai in the gel electrophoresis experiment okay so if the intercalating agents inserts itself between the adjacent base pair of dna strand it will uh, it will uh, means that is the template for a new dna synthesis and extra base is inserted into the new dna strand opposite the intercalating agent agar intercalating agent ye insert ho gaya dna strand mein to uske opposite base pair koi bhi randomly ja kar insert ho jata hai ya fir koi bhi randomly base pair ye निकल जाता है वहां से ओके okay? और ये निकलना और इंसर्ट होना ओके दिस इंसर्शन एंड डिलीशन इट इज द म्यूटेशन ओके इट इज अ म्यूटेशन सो दिस इथिडियम ब्रोमाइड इट इज अ केमिकल म्यूटाजन एंड इट एक्ट एज अ इंटरकैलेटिंग एजेंट व्हाट इट डज दिस इंटरकैलेटिंग एजेंट इट एक्चुअली इंसर्ट इन द डी एन स्ट्रैंड ओके so this intercalating agents these are flat molecules that can slip between the base pairs in the double helix slightly unwinding the helix and hence increasing the distance between adjacent pairs this may cause the mutation so as i told earlier this ethidium bromide is a chemical mutagen and it act as a intercalating agent if we will see the structure of ethidium bromide this is the structure of ethidium bromide which is which consists of four rings called as polycyclic rings okay so this uh, this is the normal dna and when there is when we insert this mutagen ethidium bromide what will it do this will stack between the base pair okay ye insert ho jayega between the base pair and it will completely disturb the rest of the processes of central dogma okay so like this the ethidium bromide gate inserts or gate intercalates between the bases or between the base pairs okay and it disturbs the helical structure ultimately so that is about the ethidium bromide next is acridine orange acridine orange is cell permeable which allows the dye to interact with the dna by intercalation so even acridine orange is also a stain which is cell permeable okay and this dye it allows to interact with the dna by intercalation so this is the structure of acridine orange okay which consists of three polycyclic rings and um, even this acridine orange also it get inserts between the base pair and this of the structure of dna other example is proflavin which is also a three ring structure so this is this was about the intercalating agent okay so here we finished our mutagens all physical and 
chemical mutagens next is reversion already the concept of reversion we have discussed in our previous video but we will revise what is reversion okay your chapter name is mutation and reversion so up till now whatever we have discussed was all about the mutation and uh, even we have defined the reversion in our previous video but we will summarize that okay so reversion as the name indicate it is reversed okay it is reversed back so there are different terms <clears throat> first is forward mutation forward mutation normal wild type wt is wild type okay so in form, forward mutation normal original gene is converted into mutant by using the mutagen okay wild type matlab original or mutant type matlab jo jisme mutation hua hai to forward mutation ye aage ki direction mein badega matlab jo aapka normal gene hai jo aapka wild type gene hai it will converted into the mutant type okay it will not go back that is known as the forward mutation second is reverse mutation which is also called as reversion reverse mutation mein actually yahan par normal or wild type is converted into mutant type and back it goes back it revert back means mutant is back converted into normal type or wild type okay hence it is termed as reversion and it uh, there are two types of this reversion true reversion and partial reversion in true reversion mutant is converted into the wild type okay mutant is converted into the wild type means uh, it has been reverted back okay and in partial reversion mutant is converted to partial wild not complete but half wild type it has been converted and it occur in the same codon as forward mutation okay it occurs in the same codon which code for the specific amino acid and this codon are made up of three nucleotides that we know next is suppressor mutation even this also we have discussed in our previous video suppressor mutation actually it suppresses the one mutation suppresses the effect of the other mutation okay that is that was the concept of suppressor mutation and it consists of two types intragenic and intergenic intragenic mutation it occur in the same gene okay both the mutations are in the same gene that is known as the intragenic and intergenic it occurs in the different gene okay so that is all about the reversion and intercalating agent now next term is mutation rate what is mutation rate it is the frequency with which a gene changes from wild type from original type to the mutant type okay that is referred as the mutation rate okay the mutation rate ye aisa rate hota hai jahan par aapka gene ओरिजिनल से म्यूटेंट फॉर्म में चेंज होता है ओके दैट इज टर्म एज द म्यूटेशन रेट एंड इट इज एक्सप्रेस एज अ नंबर ऑफ म्यूटेशन पर बायोलॉजिकल यूनिट ओके सो हाउ यू विल एक्सप्रेस दिस म्यूटेशन रेट इट इज एक्सप्रेस बाय नंबर ऑफ म्यूटेशन हाउ मच काउंट इज देयर ओके दैट इज नंबर ऑफ म्यूटेशन पर बायोलॉजिकल यूनिट दैट इज म्यूटेशन पर सेल डिविजन जब सेल डिवाइड होती है ओके वन के दो होते हैं दो के चार होते हैं चार के आठ होते हैं आठ के सोलह होते हैं हर जनरेशन में सेल डिवाइड जो होती है ओके सो so, उस सेल डिवीजन में इंडिविजुअल सेल डिवीजन में कितने म्यूटेशन हुए हैं दैट इज द म्यूटेशन पर सेल डिवीजन ओके इन एवरी सेल डिवीजन हाउ मच म्यूटेशन है मीनिंग ऑफ दिस लाइन म्यूटेशन पर सेल डिवीजन पर गैमेट पर राउंड ऑफ रेप्लीकेशन जितनी बार रेप्लीकेशन हो रहा है जितनी बार सेल डिवाइड हो रही है जितनी बार गैमेट फॉर्म हो रहा है उन सब का नंबर यहाँ पर कंसिडर किया जाता है टू काउंट द म्यूटेशन रेट ओके सो दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट दिस चैप्टर ओके दैट इज म्यूटेशन एंड रिवर्जन ऑल वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द म्यूटेशन वी हैव डिस्कस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ म्यूटेशन लाइक 
पॉइंट म्यूटेशन डिस्टेंस म्यूटेशन नॉन म्यूटेशन नल म्यूटेशन कंडीशनल म्यूटेशन लीथल म्यूटेशन एक्सेट्रा ओके आफ्टर दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सम एक्सपेरिमेंट लाइक फ्लक्चुएशन टेस्ट विच प्रूव दैट म्यूटेशन टेक्स प्लेस स्पॉन्टेनियसली विदाउट एनी यूज ऑफ म्यूटाइजन ओके देन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द रेप्लिका प्लेट टेक्निक आफ्टर दैट वी हैव सीन अबाउट द different mutagens like physical uv and x rays and different chemical agents and now we are in with the chapter i hope the chapter will be clear to you thank you